Uh, so we have some confusion here. What is Duran Rider's advice for? We've got a question here. Um, someone says there are vegan athletes like Harley that need more glycogen, so eating refined carbs will help you become a better athlete. Is it healthy in the long term? I'm not sure. The regular person that doesn't want to be an athlete may serve better on whole plant foods. Does this make sense? I'm wanting to know. Excellent question, bro. Regular person. If you want to be a regular person, my channel, my advice is not for you. My advice, my channel, my ebooks, etc., for people who want to be extraordinary, who want to live above average, not be regular. If you want to be a regular, sloppy, frumpy, caffeine addicted, Xanax fueled, have some alcohol to wind down, caffeine to perk up, if you want to be one of those people, then go and watch someone else's stuff. You know, if you want extraordinary, then you're at the right place. Uh, this person also said that eating Harley's an athlete. Not everyone wants to be an athlete. Again, if you want to be sharp, if you want to have an angled face, you know, chiseled jawline, angled, lean, like a greyhound, this advice is for you. you know, this is why this is fucking collars, actually. Like, man, how do fucking people wear fucking ties? <coughs> Strangular. If you want to be a moon faced, happy meal faced, fat wristed motherfucker like Joe or Eyes or the Weasel or these fucking. Bitch tit, man boobs, dad bod, fucking flip flop, chub chubs. Then and then nothing wrong with that at all. Doesn't make anyone a bad person. But if you want to be fucking lean and fucking hard, <coughs> if you want to be lean and hard, boom. You know what I mean? You feel your fucking pecs dance, bro. If you want to be lean and hard versus some fucking marshmallow, go listen to marshmallows, bro. If you want to look like a fucking marshmallow, <laughs> listen to fucking marshmallows. Um, simple as that. And again, there's a lot of steroid heads out there who are like swollen and ripped and jacked and they're taking steroids and they're only getting results because they're on steroids. You can tell that because they're like 90 kilos jacked, lean versus, you know, lean like me naturally. You don't need steroids or anything to be this lean. Look at all my old videos. Look at free. Look at so many fucking people out there, man. It's the same people over and over again complaining. The fat fucking marshmallows telling the lean greyhounds they're wrong. It's like go to a dog park and you've got all the fat, overweight, huffing and puffing pugs snarling and barking at all the lean greyhounds, the little figsy whippets, saying, you guys are wrong. You guys are too lean. What the fuck? You fat marshmallow-faced morons. Where, where is this all coming from? You have no fuck... Like, I just... It's like... A fucking homeless bum with no money in the street. And I can say that because that used to be me. Walking up to Bill Gates and saying, you're wrong. Like, you don't know how to make money. What the fuck's Bill Gates going to do? He's just going, <laughs> bro, you're fucking crazy. So when you just think before you type a comment, with little fat wrists, with little chubby fingers, that can't, you can't even put fucking rings on your fingers because they're like so tubby, kind of circulation. And just because you're fat doesn't make you a bad person. Not fat shaming. I've got plenty of fat friends who, who, who seek my advice and my counsel. You know, I'm always there for people who want to take the next level. I'm not there for regular people. If you're looking for regular advice, go follow Kelly, it seems, or something. You know, go and do that metabolic damage stuff. Um, so again, if you want to be healthy, don't use internet. Internet's Wi-Fi radiation, man. Don't use, don't use any electricity. If you're serious about health, go move to the tropics. Go live under a waterfall. Don't work in a job. Don't be sleeping in a house. You want fresh air, earthing all the time. Sleep on the ground, the bugs and stuff like that. That's natural. That's the healthiest. Using Wi-Fi, that's not definitely not healthy. Uh, mobile phones, not healthy. Um, and then this person says that both they both probably work. Just comes down to if you want to be really fit or have a less active lifestyle. I don't know. In my opinion, I really can't hang around people who aren't incredibly fit. I find a hard time really connecting with them. It doesn't make them bad people. I just find my... You, you're on a different level. Just like if I'm like run down or sick or out of shape, I'm not the same during ride of Harley as I am when I'm like just sharp, early nights, getting the carbs, getting the water in, just dialed in. I'm not the same person. So I find it hard to really vibe and radiate with people who are vibing at a lower level than me. Not saying, hey, I'm fucking God or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Like attracts like, water seeks its own level. You don't see falcons flying with turkeys. You know, If you want to fly like an eagle, don't hang with turkeys. So if you want to be a turkey, then take turkey advice. If you want to be a fucking eagle, a sharp, lean falcon getting it fucking done. 
I've got some fucking advice for you. And my advice is based on personal experience. I've been vegan almost 16 years now. So I've over 400,000 Ks as a vegan. I know what I'm fucking talking about. I didn't read it on the fucking internet. I didn't listen to some fat marshmallow-faced dude. This is real life. And life is now.